main electricity and household wiring. Firstly, the main voltage supply. In Hong Kong, we are using the alternating current with the 220 volt. Now we know that the international standard usually two values, either 110 or 220. In Hong Kong, we are using 220 volt. And the frequency is not important, uh, but uh, what's important is the three wires. In the cable, we have live wires in brown color, and a neutral wire in blue color, and earth wire with yellow and green color. Uh, so we have to remember it. Let's see the function of each wire. Firstly, the live wire. Now the live wire is important because it provides a varying potential. It may be higher or lower than the zero volt, which is the varying potential. Now, in the left hand side, you can see this is the AC circuit. The neutral side, the end side, is always a zero volt, and the live side, the live side, the potential is changing. Now, for example, if it is positive, then the current will pass from the live to neutral. However, when it is negative, then it's the current is passed by the neutral to live. Even it is varying. But because of the high frequency, the brightness of the light bulb will still be steady, even the direction of current is changing. Now this is the characteristic of the alternating current. Now so you should note that the life wire, the potential is always changing. Now you can also consider the battery similar to this kind of situation, the neutral is 0 volt and the live is 220 volt. Now no matter what the key is, the live is always at a non-zero potential now, in most of the time. Now with this idea, what is important is we have to understand it is related to the electric shock. Now, if we touch the live wire, we may get socked. Why? Because the neutral side is always connected to the earth, so it's always a zero volt. If we use a finger to touch it, suppose one side of the body is touched on the ground, so that if we touch on the live wire, there is a potential difference across our body. And this potential difference across our body will give us an electric shock. So that's why if we are touching the ground at the same time we're touching the live wire, then we may get shock. However, if we touch on the neutral side, on the neutral wire, it is another case because the neutral wire is already earth. It's always zero potential. And if we are standing on the ground, we also have zero potential. So the potential difference across our body is zero. So we won't get shock. Okay, so let's try to digest this idea. And then the neutral wire. Now the neutral wire is simple. It just provide a return path to complete the circuit. Uh, it is always set at the zero voltage at the power station because it is already earth. And the current in the neutral wire, you should note that it is not zero. Uh, the voltage is zero, the potential is zero. However, the current is not zero because the current still pass through it. Now, this is important. Then how about the earth wire? Now, many students do not understand why there exists a word fire. Now, strictly speaking, it is not important if there is no accident. This wire is just a wire that connects to the earth and the metal case of the electric appliance. So if your electrical appliance do not have a metal case, that means if it is 
with a plastic cover, actually we need not to have that wire. Now we know that, for example, if it is a kettle, the live wire and the neutral wire connected to the heating element inside, and the earth wire, do you see that? It's just connected to the case. Why do we have to connect it to the case? As I have said, if there's no accident, actually it's not useful. For example, if we have a lamp on the right hand side with no metal case, actually we need not to have the earth connection. That means we need not to have an earth wire. Once again, what is the use? Then what is the use of the earth wire? Normally, there should not be any current flow through the earth wire. This is the first thing you should know. It is not related to making the electrical appliance work, but it is useful if the live wire is broken and accidentally touch the metal case. Now, if the live wire accidentally broken and touch the metal case, then the whole metal case will in the high potential. So the whole metal case in high potential, if you still remember what we've just gone through in the previous page, if we touch on the high potential because we are standing on the earth, then there is a potential difference across our body. Then we may get electric shock. Or if we touch the metal case when the live wire is also touching on the metal case. However, if there is a live wire, what will happen? If there is a earth wire touch on the metal case and the live wire is broken, what will happen? This time, because the earth wire is connected to the metal case also, so that the current from the live wire will pass to the earth. If we touch on it, we will not get electric shock because the earth wire is touching on the metal case, so the whole metal case is at zero potential because of the earthing. So try to get it. Then let's take a look at the examples here. Live wire, neutral wire, and earth wire, what should be the normal voltage? And current. Now you can see all the options in the live wire are the same. And the neutral wire, zero voltage, but there is current. And the current of the neutral and the live wire should be the same. And for the earth wire, normally there should be zero current and zero voltage. So this is the normal case.